Hi, my name is Fernando Perez. Uh, I'm from Spain. And from Spain came the guitar. And that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, since very young, I've been really passionate and in love about this beautiful instrument and how it came to, to arrive to many cultures, many countries. For this reason, I've been traveling a lot and, and actually living for, for many years on, on not, I would say many countries, but it's actually, I've been living in many cultures. Always uh, researching and finding how the guitar got there or what they did with it. And if they did something similar to what we used to do in Spain or something different. If they changed the guitar in certain ways. And also I've been very curious of visiting and, and living in countries where they don't have the guitar. And what would it be if they have a guitar and they would play their own music on this instrument? So that's what I'm about to present to you right now. they would use instruments that were not their own. For instance, one of the things they did, uh, they got some guitars because guitars were already getting to, um, into the Americas, but they did something different, something very unique. They, they started taking the, the bottles and they would cut the neck and they would put it on their finger. Now, if you want to know if something has a mix of African and something else, you have both in one, which is the one, two, and the one, two, three. Something like this, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Every Brazilian person has grown up listening to choros on the radio or TV or from their parents. For the next piece, uh, I have chosen a, a tango, but it's a very particular tango. And he took a spike from the ground, and by accident or providence, he just slided on the strings of his guitar, doing something. Something like this. 
So of course the guy said, wow, this sounds awesome. from this piece the beauty of, of the countryside of North America and the style of life they have there. It's actually called a Down the Creek. Now, the, what the Chinese have is that they are based in a way of thinking or philosophy, as we would call it, that is based on nature. Everything goes with nature, everything has to flow, and that's the important thing. be well represented if we don't travel to India and discover more about the music of this wonderful subcontinent. I could play the normal, regular guitar stuff that I can do, but also be able to play it with a fretless guitar. So how would I do that? What I did is just to try to get a different fingerboard with no frets. And just by a simple action, I would just change it on my guitar. In Greece we find many styles and it's a country where actually from north to south, east to west, the music styles are very different and very rich. The piece I'm going to do now is in a style called Hasapo Servico.
The next composition, uh, I called it just like that, Into the Balkans, because it shows this wonderful uh, style of music. So that's how they got the name of gypsies. This is a typical style inside of flamenco, uh, called like that, bulerias, which one of the meanings is like, it's like a mocking. So we play kind of fast and we do a lot of strange things. Just remember that the guitar is a universal instrument. No matter the, the type of the guitar, the level of the player, or the style of music, we all make the guitar. And it's such a young instrument that has limitless possibilities. Mm -hmm. 